Hello. Hi, is Terry there? Yeah, is this George Strait? <laughs> uh, no, I, I might sound a little country, but I, I'm not as uh, famous, and I definitely can't sing as well as George Strait. Now you sound a little more Yankee. <laughs> well, I, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, so I ain't got no Yankee in me. Hey. <laughs> Some of them uh, blue coats must have stayed around Texas <laughs> with that Yankee blood in them during the war. <laughs> hey, Terry, uh, my name's RJ. I was calling you. Uh, you had entered your uh, property on Riverside or in Riverside there on our website saying you were looking to sell that property. You still looking to sell it? I would. You would? I didn't, I didn't know what I was getting into, I guess, because I've had eight people calling me and everything else i got gotcha. you I, I didn't know what i was getting into and doing that i guess i understand i thought it was somebody trying to contact somebody. well have you have you decided to, to move forward with any of those people no okay how come i won't even talk to them oh, okay well I, I, I won't even talk to an asian person i mean unless i go to a chinese restaurant <laughs> to well, I, I'm not Asian, so will you talk to me? <laughs> well, uh, are you interested in talking to me about the property? I, I don't know what kind of deal you pushing today, man. I just don't know. You know so. I just want to make you a cash offer. I mean, did you have an asking price in mind for the property? What's your offer? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Did you have an asking price? You come out there and look at it, and we'll go from there. Well, that's a long way for me to drive all the way from Fort Worth, Texas. It is. So why, that's what I'm saying. What's the deal? What kind of deal you got here? Well, you I'm... You ain't going to drive from Fort Worth, Texas to look at nothing. No, sir. I'm a I'm a real estate investor, so I'm always looking for opportunities to buy something that I can either rent out, sell it finance, or, or fix up and sell for a profit. So that's what I'm looking for. And your property... I'd probably be looking uh, at something that I could either sell or finance or, or fix up and, and rent it out long term. Uh, so that's why I just wanted to. Can you, can you hold on a second? Hold on one second. Sure. So yeah, he uh, he uh, definitely hit me with some awkward awkward stuff there, but uh, it is what it is. That's that's part of the game. You're gonna hear that sometimes. All right. Well, while he's got me on hold, I'm gonna look up see what we got going on around there. properties hey. yes sir hey. okay sorry about that no worries it's, uh... so uh did you did you have an asking price in mind or or what what was the situation there uh we was asking the building across the street they're asking uh 475 and then also across the street there's a about a two acre tract of land they're asking like uh 175. okay There's buildings you know around there for sale so we're asking 300. 300 okay yeah and how much land comes with your property there i think it's like a point nine two or something so it's just under acre just under an acre okay so how did you how did you come to, to 300. Okay. And it's a metal building and it's a brick building and it's, uh, you know, for what I've bought it for and redone the brick building, just got to redo it. Yeah. Everything new in it, you know, and uh, just uh, got a lot in it. 
You know, stuff costs a lot right now to redo something. If you've done anything, it costs you a lot of money right now. Right. Hmm. Uh, it's right next door to a Dollar General. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Um, that's actually... you looking at it on what? On some kind of site? Yeah, I'm just looking at it on Google Maps right now, just so I can see the, the area. Is it showing two buildings? Is it showing two buildings? Um, I only see the one building, but I see the Dollar General next door. I'm so assuming... You're looking at something old. You're looking at something old, then, what you're looking at. Yeah. Well, it just depends on when the last time you Google... Yes, sir. I don't do. I don't, I'm not a Google person. I use ways. You know. I don't know. It's, right. Anyway, yeah, you're looking at something old. Yeah, it's got red, new red roof, red top. You know. I gotcha. So I'll just be honest with you. You know, being next to that commercial is is kind of detrimental for me. Um, I I don't. I try to. Well, I I don't try to be close to commercial. Um, that usually well, it is, is commercial. It is commercial. So this is a commercial building that you're selling. Yeah. Okay. And are is it vacant or are you living in it or what? What's being done with the property? Mm, I've got some stuff stored in it. Okay. So I, I mean, I'm looking at this image. I mean, what could you do with it if you if you were to use it for uh, you know commercial usage? What what do you think could be done with it? I think anything you wanted to do. It was a dental office at one time, and then it was a church at one time. Okay. And then, I mean, you could do whatever you wanted to with it, you know? I see. I had some people look at it Saturday, Sunday, and she, they, they, he's an electrical company, and she's a, his wife's got three uh, pet grooming places, and, you know? They're thinking about opening another one there. You know, it's just, you could do whatever you wanted to with it. You can make a restaurant. The city says if you'll put a restaurant there, you can do anything you want to do. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to put a restaurant there. How, is, does it have a parking yeah. lot in front of it? Oh, yeah. It's got it. And you can drive all the way around the building. This is gravel all the way around. This, you know, where you can drive all the way around. I see. Got parking in the back, so you you just looking at something old on Google. Yeah, I mean that's Google. I don't see how you even do business like that, and I don't even see how you how you can even do business like you're doing. You know, well, kind of scary to me. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be honest with you, we usually purchase somewhere in the range of about sixty to seventy deals a month. Um, now. We're not typically buying commercial where we're mainly single family residences only, um, maybe a small multifamily here or there. Um, but normally the way this would work would be based off of comps in the area. But because this is a commercial building, there's going to be a lot of things that we have to take into consideration, right? The usage for the building and then what that would look like from a cash flow perspective. So if I were to buy it, I would be renting it out to a business. So, you know, what would a business be willing to pay me to rent this area? Um, so these are the these are the things that are kind of running through my head right now as to just understanding what would be my exit strategy on this particular property. And and to be honest with you, this is going to take a little bit more due diligence on my part to, to understand what I would be willing to pay for something like this and what I could offer you than just what I can discover on a simple call like this. Normally, if this was just a, a, a straightforward, you know, three bedroom, two bath, single family residence, 1,200 square feet, it'd be very easy for me to say, hey, this is what I could offer you. It's 1,600, it's 1,600 square foot. Right, I, I'm just using that as an example of what, you know, what I would normally do and how it would be so, so much easier, but considering that this is zoned commercial and and it's got two buildings and the information that is available to me on on Google is obviously outdated and it doesn't show me the exact building I'm gonna have to do some more due diligence so you know why don't I do this Terry why don't you give me some time here to just look into it a little bit more I've got your phone number 
and I can reach out to you if this is something that, you know, I'm going to be anywhere close to that $300,000 number. But like I said, I just need to do a little bit more due diligence on this before I say, hey, this is something I can or can't do on this particular property. Okay. All right. I appreciate your time, Terry. And, and like I said, I'll reach back out to you if, if we're going to be anywhere close to that number. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.